Hey, this is Wileen Benson, and you are on the Daily Gratitude Call, where we start every day in gratitude. Gratitude is the highest energy state that we can be in. It creates a frequency of positive vibration that attracts positive experiences into our lives. Hey everybody, this is Wileen Benson. This is our daily gratitude call and uh, thank you all for being here on the call. I'm really appreciative of um, those who are here live today. I don't know why I'm emotional, but um, they knew that today was my 34th anniversary being married to my husband and um, celebrated me on um, as we were doing our rounds of gratitude and I was just um, really touched. And a lot of the things that were shared were about um, celebrating others and uh, just feeling gratitude for um, God and for friends and family. And um, yeah, just uh, several people mentioned that they were grateful for this call. And um, anyway, that's that's what uh, I want to focus on today is just gratitude for celebrating others. And we'll just see what comes up from that. So um, go ahead and grab your paper and pen. I'm going to be setting a timer for 90 seconds. We're going to do a silent private meditation on gratitude for celebrating others. For 90 seconds, just write down whatever comes to you and then we'll share. Begin. Well, that was an interesting experience and um, hope I'll be able to share this without too many tears. But um, I thought of all of the situations that I've had in my life where I've just felt extreme gratitude for um, the groups that I've been a part of. Um, I remember, you know, there were several experiences that came to me where I just remember feeling like I have just like the most amazing life. I'm so grateful for the family that I have, the immediate family. I'm grateful for my extended family, I'm grateful for my marriage. And um, um, because I have worked with several people who have struggled in marriage and with couples and um I'm just, it, it just makes me more grateful for the marriage that I do have. I'm grateful for my relationship with God. I'm grateful for um, my church congregation and um, this gratitude call and the teams that I've been a part of over the years and the committees to create things. And um, it was interesting as I was listing those that I could almost every sing, probably every single one, I could pinpoint, like I had a memory pop up of someone who had at some point said to me that I was the reason why these were so good. And um, 
that was such a humbling um, moment to realize that the reason why these are so good and so awesome and that I could celebrate being a part of this, these groups is because of me, that I'm like the common denominator. That's why everything has been so good is because I'm the common denominator in all of it. And so I created a new belief for myself. I celebrate me with others. Who else has something they'd like to share? I thought I of do. all the different um, Suzanne, celebrations that we have okay. um, through life. Mm -hmm. um, birthdays, anniversaries, and celebrating our Savior Jesus Christ through Christmas and Easter, um, baptisms, weddings, new beginnings, coming to uh, like a new employee or a, an employee who goes away, uh, baby showers, and basically the common denominator in that is celebrating life. Mm -hmm. And so, um, um, especially coming into the world and how we celebrate those every year um, through our birthdays. Beautiful. I love that. Celebrating life, celebrating life's experiences is celebrating life. I, I had the thought too, and um, you know, it's just an interesting twist on that, that a lot of times, you know, we do come together and funerals at the end of life. And um, my favorite funerals are the ones where there is a celebration of the life. And I know that those on the other side that are receiving those people are celebrating as well as a new birth. Thank you. Wow, I am super emotional today. <laughs> Thanks everybody. Um, Linda, you had something. Yes, so I, I find it fascinating, the connections and friendships that I have made this beautiful year of 2020, because there are literally crazy storms going on everywhere and however each and every morning together we come together to celebrate the beauty inside each and every one of us the beauty that's all around us and while the outside world swirls like uh, scott was mentioning you know oregon is just on fire right it's as if uh inside we are just having this little picnic of all the good of the world hosted by wileen and as we join together with our eyes on the eye of the storm, who is our Savior, Jesus Christ, we are just enjoying the peace that we bring for each other. Thank you. Um, I'm going to make a public announcement right here that um, came to me in my daily GPS this morning. Um, I have a book that I wrote. Um, years ago, like probably 20 years ago, that I sent to publisher after publisher after publisher, and it was rejected. And um, I filed it away and uh, knew that someday I would try again. And back then, I didn't even know that you could self-publish. And uh, the book is called Fences. Um, and it is a time for that book to come out again. Um, it's about my neighbor who lived next door. He's passed away now. But when, as soon as we moved in, he came over and met us. And we didn't have any kids yet because we've lived here for the full 34 years that we've been married. And um, he came over and he says, well, when you have kids, make sure that they call me Grandpa Bradford. And he was just like the most amazing neighbor neighbor and um he had a huge garden and we were always like meeting at the back fence he'd say meet you at the back fence and i would take him a pie or he would bring me some vegetables or i would take him and i remember one time i made some cream style corn out of his corn and gave it to him and he came back over and he says is that my corn he says i've never tried cream style. He says, I always buy cream style corn in a, in a can. And he was so amazed that you could make cream style corn out of his corn. Anyway, we had some amazing experiences with him. And um, when I was a kid, um, I grew up in Georgia 
and my best friend lived across the street and she was black and I was only allowed to meet her at the fence. I wasn't allowed to invite her into my yard because I lived back in the day when everything was, was really um, segregated. And um, that book is a, it's like, and um, shows the two sides of fences, that fences can be a place to come and meet and it can be a thing that keeps us apart. And um, it's time for that book to come out. And uh, what you just shared, Melinda, about the connections in 2020 and how other people are seeing storms, but we are in the calm, we're in the eye of the storm. Um, that's just confirmation that it's time for that book to come out. Awesome. Thanks. Who else? I was just thinking about how I've been studying and reading about our founding, how our founding pilgrims, how they made a covenant with God, even though they had a good life, they had they were prospering, they had religious freedom and they were prospering, uh, but they still chose, they made a covenant with God and they came here and they even cried when the Mayflower left, but they chose not to go on it. Even with all of the death and the starvation and everything and how I have chosen to celebrate them by making a covenant with God to turn everything over to him. And I'm so grateful that we, that I have the chance to celebrate them through that, through a covenant. And I just started a 40 day fast today. I'm actually going to go a few extra days just to give other people a chance to join me if they need to prepare, but I'm doing a 40 day fast. And I think each of us have something that we can lay on the altar. And for me, I knew that right now, sugar and flour is something that I can lay on the altar to sacrifice, to celebrate them and their sacrifices in giving their lives often and giving their comforts, giving up their comforts and sacrificing so much so that we have the blessings that we have today. Awesome. Thank you. Um, Tyree, how could um, people join you in that 40 day fast. Are you doing that in your Facebook group? Yes. Awesome. Do you want to say it's, what that is? And then you can post it in the uh, breakthrough with gratitude group. Sure. It's uh, God's God's garden insights. And I just did a video last night, just inviting anybody who would like to, because I feel like when we do things in a community, it makes it, easier and more fun so that we can celebrate each other. Beautiful. I love that. And how appropriate God's garden insights, um, sugar and flour don't exist in the garden. We, we make sugar and flour out of stuff that comes out of the garden. So I'm sure you're going to learn some really awesome new God's garden insights in this, in this 40 day fast from sugar and flour. Thank you. Who else would like to share? I do agree with you, Tyree, that amazing things can happen in a community. And that's why I felt really strongly to announce um, about my book, because I have, uh, I've thought about writing that book or you know, just kind of sprucing it up. I know it's not exactly, it's been 20 years. I, I know I'm going to be changing some things a little bit, but I've had the impression to do that in the past and just haven't gotten around to it. And um, it's, I, I know that now that I've announced it in this community, that it will get done. Amen. Uh, Thank you. I'd like to share. Phil? Yeah. So when I was contemplating this, um, what came to me is the, you know, celebrating others is kind of what the kingdom of heaven is all about. Mm. 
about coming together in our own unique way and adding more more to it by being our individual self as we are. And when we can find that and see that in others and help bring that out in others, then I believe that's building the kingdom. Wow, oh, beautiful. Adding to the kingdom, building the kingdom by just adding our own uniqueness. That's an interesting concept. I uh, That really resonates truth with me. Thank you. Tyree, did you have something else? I just wanted to add to that, that we, when we consecrate, just like you've taught us, and he has taught us through the scriptures, when we consecrate everything that we have, all of our time, our talents, our energy, our food, our bodies to God, then how he can celebrate us and multiply what we are and what we have and how beautiful that is. Wow. Awesome. Thank you. I just love that idea of God celebrating us as we, as we do what he asks, you know, as we take, take him at his word, as we try his word. Thank you. I guess, um, um, what came to me is that, um, you know, others, Others are, um, like, we're not, I'm not complete without others, and they're not complete without me. There is no me without you, because I would, there would be a piece of me missing, and um, there's, there's something really, really um, simple and yet really profound in that, um, and I think that when others are a mirror or a lesson, like I think about, you know, I, I haven't had um, the, um, the joy in all of my relationships as you have, Wileen, and, and I wasn't responsible for all of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as a three-year-old, you know, you're not responsible for what's happening around you. But those things were still a beautiful part of my growing. And um, I think about some of our, our biblical heroes, you know, like Saul, the way he treated David, you know, and David wasn't responsible for that. Um, but Saul still enabled him to grow in ways that he couldn't have grown otherwise mm -hmm. and um, so there's still an amazing blessing in every everything everything that's happening and um, we can't always control it but we can always respond and um, we can respond in love and in compassion and know that even without that other there is no me without you. Beautiful. Um, yeah, I just want to share that, you know, the comment that I made before about seeing myself as the common den denominator of, you know, these wonderful things that I've been a part of. Um, there are people within each of the groups that we're a part of who have, he, he, you know, those missing pieces, who need someone to lead, who need someone to you know, they're seeking rescue. And, um, and I, I, you know, really see what you're saying that we are whole through others, that I would not be whole if I didn't have a community around me. I wouldn't be able to fully express the, the leadership skills and the influence and the ability that I have to, you know, to radiate uh, some sort of an energy, you know, that just other people feel that wholeness through me and, um, others, you know, if, if I didn't have that community and, um, others weren't able to gather here, then they would be missing a piece that, you know, they might be able to find it somewhere else. But I feel like those people who really resonate together end up together. The, um, you know, just that uh, resonant energy draws people together. So we really are only whole through everyone, you know, being together. Thank you. Deep tea. 
Um, so I witness you in publishing that book, which is 20 years old, and I celebrate it with you. So what I have learned is when you witness someone's journey and you become a witness of their journey, they, they get the power within to do better or you push their limits and you celebrate together. So, yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yep. You are all witnesses of my journey in this. And it really does empower me, like you said, the power within me from all of you. So thank you. I appreciate that. Let's go ahead and um, shift into our permission process. I invite you to just take a deep breath and just allow yourself to fully immerse yourself in this community right here. Allow yourself to fully feel the love, the wholeness, the completeness of this gratitude group, including everyone who is in our Facebook community, everyone who is joining us on our podcast, and everyone, even from this point forward, whoever hears this podcast at some point in the future, you are part of this creation and a witness of your journey and the witness of all the journey of everyone who is a part of this, of this, especially this episode of the podcast. Take one more deep breath and just feel the power that is generated here as we come together as a community in gratitude and celebrating each other and um, each other's journeys. At this point in time, all of us are on our own path, but in this point in time, in this moment, we are all on the same, we're in the same spot. We've come to a little resting place where we're all gathering together as we prepare to move on with our journey again when this call's over. One more deep breath. And in that moment of respite and retreat, coming together, celebrating one another, what is the one most important thing that you can do today that would really anchor in this feeling of celebration coming together, wholeness? And the power that's created as we exchange um, stories of our journey and witness each other's journey and receive strength to continue on. <clears throat> what is your inspired shortcut today to maintain this energy as you go forward in your life today? <clears throat> and what's the limiting belief that might um, inhibit you being able to be in this energy of community, of celebration? of witnessing others' journeys, celebrating each other's journeys. What's the limiting belief? And what's the cost of that? What's the cost of having that limiting belief? If you hold on to it, how is that going to affect your ability to celebrate others as you move forward from this moment today? <clears throat> And if you don't like that cost, you can give yourself permission to choose a new belief that will empower you to feel something different. So if you are ready to give yourself permission to choose a new belief, say yes. 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 <laughs> awesome. So now is a time where you get to write a couple of new beliefs, two to three new beliefs, that will replace that old limiting belief and allow you to step fully into celebrating yourself, celebrating others, being a witness of others' journeys, a witness of your own journey, coming together in community, 
and adding to God's kingdom in your own unique way and also empowering others to add to the community add to God's kingdom in their own unique way and as you get those new beliefs really anchored in or solid on your paper I invite you to really bring those new beliefs into your heart and almost like you're packing up your backpack and getting ready to move on with your um, move on with your journey but bringing this into your heart so that it's part of you allow these new beliefs to become part of you and your journey as you move forward and that they really anchor in these um, this feeling of oneness that has been created here wholeness so that you're moving forward with a feeling of oneness a feeling of celebration a feeling of wholeness and oneness and community that you're taking that with you so it's no longer a solo journey you're actually taking these people with you in your heart. And this feeling with you in your heart. And maybe even write down one or two more new beliefs as you're seeing and feeling what that experience is like to move forward no longer alone, but as a community whole incomplete loved in a moment i'm going to open it up for one or two shares and uh, also want to invite anybody if you're feeling like you need some extra support in this area to um, reach out to me on my my calendar all you have to do is just go to askwileen.com and that will take you to my calendar and you can schedule a time with me a 15 minute uh, mentoring session askwileen.com and also if you're not part of our community face um, breakthrough with gratitude on Facebook I invite you to join or if you've been kind of a silent member you haven't really uh, shared a lot that uh, now would be a really great time to become an active part of that community who has something that they would like to share about their experience today I'd like to share yeah um tammy melinda and deep tea um so i am just feel like i feel like i'm just like bubbling over with gratitude for this group this morning um as we started the the permission process i i saw all of us in like a group huddle with our arms around each other and um we were just <laughs> laughing and uh playing with each other and um what i felt is that the connections the ties that we have within this group are not just are not just from this earth but that the connection within this group um, go beyond this earth, uh, back to the pre-existence. And just thinking, reflecting over the last year and what my journey has included individually over the last year, I could not have asked for better people for God to put him into my life to support me and sustain me through everything that I have experienced this year. And I just want to express to every one of you my sincerest love and gratitude. Thank you, Tammy. Melinda. Um, 
<clears throat> I I just wanted to thank um, I wanted to thank DT for um, bringing us together last night and to um, acknowledge the blessing that um, that like I said you have hosted for us. And as Tammy was talking, um, and I was just going throughout the year of all these side conversations that we have with the people you've brought to us. I remember the first, the very first, um, the like first month I started the gratitude call, like uh, Phil, Phil and you had introduced me to the call and I could not stay awake. I did not know what was going on. I just knew that's what I was doing. And so I would play it and I would like hope that I was always on mute so no one could hear me snoring. Like I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but during that first month also, you're like, hey, you need to go meet with Rachel and you need to go here and here. And just like these side conversations that you've introduced to us that like Tammy was talking about that just help us grow and help us serve each other. That first couple months, I I met with Tammy, I talked with Tammy, and just she has a gift. And I know that each one of you have a gift that, and I'm just so grateful that those gifts that you shared with me throughout the year, to just love and strengthen one another, even when we're not on the call. And I know that that's what Tammy was describing, how we're all just, we love each other. We just really want the best for one another in our purposes. And I do feel like that was something that was built before this life. And I'm just so grateful for this opportunity to, to be here with each other. Beautiful. Thank you. Um, I, I still want to let, I saw several other people unmute. And so I want to let you all share, but I just want to mention um, for those of you who are listening, and those of you who are here live on the call, I know we're going a little bit over today, but I just, I don't want to interrupt the flow. So we're going to, we're going to go long today. So I'm just warning you <laughs> if you need to drop off or come back um, a little bit later and listen to the end, it will be here. The recording will be here. Um, Deep T, you had something. One, two, three. Congrats. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> oh, you guys are awesome. <laughs> I had no idea that the team brought you guys together. And what a beautiful experience this has created. Thank you. I just want to say that um, I'm new, but I feel so connected. And I, I really look forward to these calls. Like, everyone gets up and has this one thing uh, to wake them up or, you know, to be motivated or to look forward to in the day. And this is the call. So I'm so grateful that I found you on FB and I joined this call and each one of you who is a part of the call, even people who do not participate, I, I do appreciate your presence and everyone and everything. I agree. Thank you. Um, let's see, I think Tyree had unmuted. We were just trying to celebrate you. Uh, <laughs> I just, I, I love this group and I'm so grateful for you and your leadership and every single person on this call. I love all of you. Oh, thank you. I'm seeing all the hearts and the love coming across in the chat too. Thank you. Thanks everyone. Um, Phil, did you have something? I was participating in the shout out. Okay. That's what I, <laughs> Just getting ready for that. Okay, awesome. I had something to say and we did, but we all said it at once. Okay, perfect. Is there anybody else that would like to share something before we end our call today? Well, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I, um, as you can tell, I'm just a mess. I'm like a puddle of tears this morning. And it's just such a beautiful 
experience. And uh, I've always felt like these happy tears are just an overflowing of spirit. Um, Tammy mentioned something about bubbling up and that's the way it feels. It just feels like my spirit has grown so much and it's just beyond what my body can contain. And that's where these tears are coming from. So just thank you all. Um, I love you. I love this community. I love this gratitude call that we do every morning and just so grateful for every one of you. So um, today is Friday, so we won't be back together uh, tomorrow. We'll be back together on Monday morning, 7 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. I encourage you to keep sharing this call. Let's just uh, you know, allow this community to grow because um, as has been said, when you you know, the feelings that you have, this emotions, you know, there's no way that this can't be like felt by everybody around you. And we just love to have this community continue to grow. So keep sharing and invite people to come and join us live because it's um, truly amazing. Um, continue your gratitude practice, your daily GPS throughout the weekend. And then we'll talk to you guys on Monday at 7 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Thank you. Love you all. Bye. Hey, thanks so much for listening. And I encourage you to tune in every day to the daily gratitude call. And the daily gratitude call happens live every weekday morning. I'd love to have you join. So to find out how to join live, go to my website, wileenbenson.com. Thanks for tuning in.